Hello, my name is Navigator, and in today's video we are going to be taking a look at the worst AEW action figure of all time. Now, what is it? Well, before I show it off, I want to admit, uh, this is kind of a thing that I've seen within the community, the collector community. This is probably regarded to be the uh, worst AEW figure of all time. I ended up getting it on Ringside Collectibles for $2.49 in box. That is officially the uh, cheapest I have ever paid for an in box figure. I mean, you can go to the dollar store, honestly, and find uh, in box figures of like any kind that are more expensive than that. But what is it? It is going to be the AEW Unrivaled Series 6 Jake Hager. And once again, guys, I got this on Ringside Collectibles for $2.49. That blows my mind. It was a little bit damaged, damaged packaging, but to the naked eye, I mean, you can barely even tell. I'm assuming that this was a mint condition. It'd probably be like five bucks. So <laughs> there you go. But regardless, let's get it out of the packaging. We can maybe figure out why this is the worst AEW figure of all time. All right. So yeah, once again, this is Series 6 from the Unrivaled Collection. Some of the other figures in the line, we got Chris Jericho, obviously Jake Hager, who we're looking at now, MJF, Hikaru Shida, uh, Pendel Zeramiedo, and Ray Phoenix. From this line, I think I only have, well, Jake and Hikaru Shida. So there's that. Let's get him out of here and see what we are working with. So there is one redeemable thing about this figure, and we'll show that off here in a second, but it has nothing to do with the figure itself. But uh, again, I'll explain that in just a second. But here we go. See you later. Give Kyle Peterson some love. And here we are. Jake Hager out of the box. Still in the packaging. And I think that's the only AEW figure that has never stood. So, yeah. I guess this is probably the worst one. All right. Let's get him out of here. He does come with uh, two sets of fisted hands. Or, excuse me. Two sets of hands. One fisted. One open. I dropped one there in the ground. I apologize. Let's pop the figure out. And, uh, yeah. This is looking a little, a little worse for wear. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take this hoodie off. Uh, obviously I don't really want it staining in what the, what the heck? Okay. All right. So there's that. Uh, yep. There is staining on here. So let's, uh, if you guys were curious how to get this off super easily, all you do is you pop off the bottom, uh, or excuse me, the legs, and then you can just slide those off super easily. Well, maybe not super, but let's see. The first one came off. Well, why is that one? There we go. All right. Let's get him back down to speed, and let's see. Okay, so let's take a look at the accessories first, and then we can get to this guy. How's that sound? All right, so the hands that he has equipped are going to be those Lego Man hands, as I like to call them, the grappling hands. You'll see them here in a second. The other set that he does come with is going to be fists, like I said. Pretty rudimentary, nothing too crazy. The accessory that he comes with, and this was going to be the redeeming thing that I said. I mean, it's just, it's it's soft goods. Uh, for $2.49, I would have paid for this, so that's totally fine. The only thing that is baffling me is that it is Velcro in the back, but the hood is still intact, and there's like actually plastic in here as well, which maybe isn't the worst thing. Actually, let's uh, put it to the side. I might keep that in there, but I don't understand how... It's Velcro in the back, but the hood is still intact, so you have to, like, slide it off. I don't know. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me, uh, but maybe it did to them. So there you go. And this is kind of cool. It's just like a short sleeve black hoodie. Uh, there's gold on the bottom here. Maybe, you know, be able to cut that off or something. And just turn it into a regular black hoodie, which is not bad. I mean, you could use this for really any AEW figure. So there's that, or really any wrestling figure at all. Let's move on here to the figure itself, though, and uh, yeah, I can see why. So starting here at the bottom, these shoes, number one, they just look so tiny. I don't know. It, it, trust me, it's a better job than the, uh, the, uh, the other one that they have. Actually, let me grab that really fast. This is the other Jake Hager that I have uh, for comparison. The shoes on that are literally abysmal. They're like really big and they look ridiculous, but these aren't that bad. They're really not that bad. Color on him is a little weird, but at the end of the day, they move, and he can pretty much stand. Let's see if he can stand. Yeah, you can probably get him to stand pretty well there. Moving up the legs, though, I just don't like the shorts here. Like, I, they just look way, way, way too short. He looks weird. No knee pads. The legs just look odd. I don't know. He's got these long, lanky legs. I know that Jake Hager actually does, but... I don't know, it just looks weird. Not a lot going on with the design. Again, it's just that black and gold. There's not a lot going on with this figure. The torso, yeah, nothing too crazy. He's got a tattoo on the back here just below his neck. Let me see if I can get that to focus. There you go. It's like a sun or something like that. Ah, it's not focusing, but oh well. And then finally here with this head sculpt. This head sculpt is just garbage. It is just terrible. It doesn't even match his hair color. I mean, I guess... 
it resembles him, I will say that. But, I mean, even compared to this one, and this is not even a great figure on its own, this one just looks a hell of a lot better. If you wanted a comparison, you can just see the hair color, the, the structure of the face. I don't know, this just looks really, really weird. So there's that. We'll throw that hit Jake Hager down. But overall, guys, I can easily see why this is the worst figure. I mean, this guy looks like, I don't know, he just walked out of like a Dublin bar or something like that, somewhere in Belfast. I See... There you go, to further my point. But I'll leave it there, folks. The official worst AEW figure of all time. Honestly, I would say that Rio, uh, which is probably the number one peg warmer of AEW, probably has more accessories, more detail than this figure. So there you go. Point proven. And uh, if you were looking to get this figure, you could probably get it real cheap online or, I don't know, maybe at the dollar store. He's not standing up. I'll end it here, folks. But thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. We're closing in on 500 subscribers here, and I could not be happier. With that being said, as always, my name is Navigator. Have a nice day. Take care.